If you transport one ton of food with a truck for one kilometer, it causes 200 grams of CO2. Transporting it by train is 50 grams, and by boat it's surprisingly low. But air transport has a huge footprint. So should we do our best to avoid air transported food? Let's see. When you look at all global food miles, 31% is covered by truck. 10% happens by train. Almost two thirds of all food miles are done by boat and only 0.016% of food miles are air transport. So when we look at the total emissions for food transport, only 0.4% comes from air. Shipping food across the oceans only causes 3.5%, rail transport is 15 and 81% of the climate impact of food transport happens at the local level by road. So trying to reduce food miles doesn't make a real difference for the climate. Especially since all of this transport is only around 5% of the total climate impact of food. Just the methane from cow burps is already three times more. In other words, don't focus on buying local beef, but replacing beef. Learn more in the free Fork Ranger app. And if you want to see this breakdown for one product, check out my other video on green beans.